Hi, this is another comedy video in my uh, beginners series and it's a bit of a boring subject but it's one that had me baffled when I started off so uh, I thought I'd cover it and it's workflows, groups and templates. So when we start um, Comfy uh, we'll, we'll probably have um, the default in there which is we'll put in quickly which has appeared miles over there for some reason oh it appears top left in the little blue tri in the blue, blue square so um so there's uh, the basic workflow which is fine but after a while you, you won't really want to start with that because you'll want to you'll want to to you know you'll you'll have built your own 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 versions and and you want to uh, and you want to easily load them and, and reuse them. So to do that, we can very simply, so to do that, we can, we can you know, we can make our very first, we can make a very basic workflow. But what you can do is if we want to load a Laura here, and maybe we want a text encode, positive, text encode, negative, uh, and we're going to be using this a lot. I mean, this is this is a little group that that we're we're nearly always going to have this in there, and it's a good idea to keep this lot in a separate group. So to add a group, you go add group, and you can name it. And I call it loader, but you can you can work out your own. So there we go. We've got a little group we can move around. And what you can do if you control and then select them all, then right click, uh, you'll have save selected as a template. So we'll call that new loader. I already have one, obviously. New loader, go OK. So if we delete these, right click on the, anywhere in the workspace, no templates, new loader. What could be easier than that? So, so you can call up this little group with just one click. So I, I, it's, I, this is, I think this is called a, a modular workflow, and I, I would, I think it's the best work, it's the best way of working. So we've got a group, and that holds, you know, everything we need for uh, loading stuff in. So um, you might add something else. You might um, want to have your your image load in there as well, because that's a loader. So we could pop that in there. There we go. So we can have a load image in there as well. And that's, we're going to use that quite a lot, that, that sort of little grouping. And I've got a Laura in there, but um, she's not quite properly joined up, so you wouldn't want to be, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be loading it like that. But uh, you get what I mean. I have to delete that, uh, delete that uh, template, which brings me to the next um, little wrinkle. So we can go no templates, we can go manage, and you see new loader here, I can delete that. And as you see, you've got quite a list. Uh, you can export any of these as well, which is quite useful. So there we go. So um, new loader isn't there. I have um, obviously got a loader that I use, which I use one where I've got my basic one right at the top here. There we go. So we can get rid of that one. Move the template down. So there you see I have my... And what I mean by modular is that I would... I've obviously made... Uh, saved all of this lot it is a template so i i just have to click uh, uh go down with my templates and th and this lot all loads just like that with the bus all ready to go already all ready to play with so i call my first generation process and if you're really a beginner you might not know that you can select fit group to loads and that neatly fits the uh, group and we need another one for this lot I always call this refine. There we go. So there's a, a basic workflow with bus and everything. You could even select these reroutes, the buses, and uh, and reload them at any time, or reload with any bus, or or whatever whatever you want, really. But this is what I call a modular workflow. So everything is broken into modules, and I usually make this one here in the middle. This is where I adjust between the process and the refine. Because it's nice to make an image correction um, in there. So there's a uh, there's a basic modular workflow. So there's the checkpoint load image. If the, we're doing um, if we're doing image to image, uh, you can put a, a a latent image in in there. If you're doing 
texture image. And so there's are our groups. And the other th great thing with groups is you can turn them off. So I don't want the refine running all the time. So you right click, set nodes to never. Right click, set nodes to never. You can also right click and select the nodes in the box, ready for you to make a template. There you go. So we, I'll cut next. I'll cover um, work, dropping workflows in. So you can. I don't know if anyone has used this very much. But you can go save, and it'll save a workflow, which is great. And you can name the workflow. Well, it'll be very boring. We'll call it my workflow, shall we? And that'll appear in your downloads folder, or in. I'm not sure where it is in Windows. Is I'm on a Mac, but um, but anyway, it'll appear in the equivalent of the downloads folder. And if you drag that workflow back in again, you'll get this exactly. Like that. So you can make a library of workflows you use a lot that way. And I tend to use the workflow. I tend to use that method when I uh, am refining a workflow because I can save my workflows version one, version two. And then I know the highest number is where I got to last. And it's a very good way of saving a, saving a project up to a certain point. And it'll, when you drag it in, it'll be all there, re ready to go for you. The only thing is, <laughs> is, uh, so we, should we go and get that one and drag it in? So I drag the workflow in, drop it, and there it is. Exa exactly the same. Of course, because I haven't changed it. However, if it's an old workflow on a project, I've got, I might look at this lot and think, what on earth was I doing? I can't remember. So what's quite nice, so when I look at this, um, I'll bring it across. Here's the JSON file. I don't know what the hell that is. It's just a, uh, you know, it's just a, a, a string of numbers. So what you can do, if you've got uh, Python GOS custom nodes in, you can right click. You have to have the, uh, you have to have the appropriate uh, nodes in. Um, I'll show, the, show you them in the custom node folder. So in your custom node folder are all your custom nodes. And this one is called Comfy UI. And I think it's Python GOS. And if you want to find that in Manager, here we go. Just type in GOS. And there it is, Python GOS. But we're not going to do anything with that. But that will give you this, which is a workflow image. So you can export a workflow image. I've got a bit of a bug in the company that goes horrible, but there you go. And that, if we open the file, has produced this lovely PNG, uh, which shows a picture of your workflow. So you can see exactly how it looked when you were using it. So it'll have all the images in, it'll have the prompt there. And if you drag that in, it'll, it'll look like this. So that's a very good way of saving your workflows. And it gives you a PNG, which shows you what the hell you were up to. And I think that pretty much covers modular workflows. So I'll do a brief example of how I might use it. So if I want to process this image here, my 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 um, my generation, I don't know what we were, we were trying to make there, and I want to turn it, say, uh, we'll just process something. And, and, and uh... Right, so if we're in a position, so I've, I've just generated something quickly here. So. I quite often uh, take images like this and I turn them into comic strips. So I have a uh, post-rise flow set of nodes. So I can, with the load template, quickly load it in. One thing you do have to do is go to an empty bit of workspace. Otherwise, you'll get a, a blizzard of nodes all over the top of themselves. So, so if we go node templates and somewhere in here would be post-rise plus nine, see the that's all being kept in there. It's great big workflow. So I can put this in a group. I call it posterize. So this is what I mean by modular. You, you, you can have all little bits, little setups that you can reuse. And uh, you don't have to rediscover how you did it. So with this, we're going to um, leave it the same size. So we just pop that image in there. And it's, oops, wrong one. <laughs> So we just pop this image in there. The rescale, I won't describe what this does. There is another work. But uh, what you'll see is that if you cue, cue that. There you go. It's produced a nicely stylized version. If you look at it here. Which is ready to be turned into a comic strip. So this is quite a big flow. But I, I use it quite a lot. And it's there. At a certain stage. 
<laughs> life with comfy always gets complicated you always start with about uh, with about 10 nodes and uh, an hour later there's 60 scattered all over the place and you'll have several of these all plumbed in so a good thing to be able to do is to be able to turn these off so if i don't want this to happen i can turn it off so i can right click and go to never turn it back on again right click and go to always but there's a node on rg3 we'll just find it called the fast groups muter and there's all our group we can turn them on and we can turn them off again which is very very convenient and i think that's i think that's my um, organizational and tidiness video complete and i hope that's useful okay thanks very much for your attention